in that fight. Dana, we got to get to a topic that I know that uh, you know you're always anticipating in these interviews. And what is happening with Conor McGregor? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make it as simple as that. What is happening with him right now? I have no idea. We've offered him a fight. We've offered him a fight. We got him his own date. You know, he he, he said, you know, he was, you, you guys saw everything that happened on social media. Um, <clears throat> we didn't have a date this year. We have everything laid out for the rest of the year with world champions fighting for titles. Um, he wants to fight Dustin Poirier, apparently. So we, we, we went to ESPN. We got him his own date and everything he's been offered. Uh, the Dustin fight on January 23rd. And since then, he has come out and said he accepts that offer, but it has to be in 2020. Do you understand why? Why does Connor? No clue. Why is he saying he has to fight in 2020? I have no clue. So, so we don't know why he, why why it has to be in 20. I don't know anything. I offered him the date on January 23rd. That's it. Are you open to trying to get him into 2020, or there is no space available in 2020? I offered him the date on January 23rd. Listen, I, I know that, um, you know, sometimes we get in these situations where like, I, I believe that I have, you know, some kind of grasp on the, on, on, on why you want it, but there are going to be fans out there who are watching this interview that say, well, if Conor McGregor wants to fight, why can't you move some people around? Why can't you do this? Why can't you do that? Why can't you do that? Why, why can't you make it so that Conor McGregor can fight? Cause that's him? not how it works. We laid out this year. He was retired. Mm -hmm. Would anybody disagree that he was retired? I mean, I think there were people who didn't believe he was truly retired, but yes, he was, he, he was and is retired, I suppose. Yeah. So through this crazy, you know, pandemic year that we're going through, you know, we faced a lot of challenges. We got a lot of things done. We've made this thing work. We made it happen. We have our schedule laid out. Fighters have committed to it. Fighters have started training for these camps, uh, for, for these fights. And, uh, you know, Connor came back and said he wants to fight. He wants to fight Dustin. So we went out and got him his own date, mm -hmm. January 23rd. Mm -hmm. It's weird to me that all these conversations are taking place one week before Justin and Khabib fight, right? Because I mean, you, you've, it's weird to me that these types of conversations are taking place one week before Habib and Justin fight. I mean, because you've talked about he's going to be the number one contender and he's talked about wanting to fight Justin. He's talked about wanting to fight Habib. Like, why are we talking about a different fight in January? At least let's see what happens at UFC 254, right? Does the timing of this feel weird? Yeah, yeah, I have no clue. Huh. You got, you're going to have to ask him those questions. All right, I got two more questions with, uh, about, about Connor. We can rapid fire him if you want. Um, wh where does the Manny Pacquiao thing fit in here? Are you interested in that as a I promoter? Have no clue. I, that, I have no clue. I got, two, I got a week and a half left on Fight Island, right? Yeah. yeah. Then, you know, we get back to Vegas and, and, and we end out the year. We, we, we close the year. Mm -hmm. um, that's all I'm thinking about. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm thinking about. Final question. I've offered that. him a date on January 23rd versus Dustin Poirier. Yep. Yes and or that, no? That will lead it's me a yes or no answer. answer. That will lead me into my next question. If Connor came to you and said, you know what? All right, let's, let's hit the reset button. You are the promoter. I trust you. You know, you helped build my career. Tell me what to do in 2021. Lay out the perfect year for Connor McGregor in 2021. What do you think that would look like? If you, if you could have it your way, ideally, let's say he wins every fight you put him in, what would the, the monster 2021 year look like for Khabib? I tried that. I tried to make that. I was working on, you know, him and Khabib coaching the ultimate fighter and, and the rematch happening. And then I, I don't know what happened. This whole thing blew up. So I'm getting through this year. I have a date for him on January 23rd. And that's it. That's all I'm thinking about. Got to ask you about Conor McGregor, of course. He went on Twitter and said, I'm in January 23rd. He mentioned Cowboy Stadium as a possibility, which, you know, who knows. But January 23rd, him and Dustin Poirier, any update on that? Could that be the fight we see if he, he said he's yes? And Dustin said yes. So now it's a matter of getting contract signed. So, you know, 